A top of the morning to you all, welcome and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are and where you are tuning in from. We are very grateful but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates. Uh, Uganda to get 3.5 trillion shillings from the International Monetary Fund loan to fight COVID-19. Uh, not only that, a week ago Uganda got a loan of $1 billion from the International Mon Monetary Fund where they confirmed on their Twitter handle that Uganda has been loaned $1 billion. And Uganda came out and said that that loan will be given easily because they have enough mineral sources which gen they generate in income from. Uh, the Auditor General had in the 2019-2020 financial year report cautioned that if the government does not restrain its hunger for loans, the debt will be unsustainable and future governments will not be able to borrow. Uh, once again, thanks for joining us. Let's take a quick look into some of these details. The government is asking for another loan of $1 billion from the International Monetary Fund to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 on the country's economy, uh, the finance ministry confirmed on Wednesday. However, this comes a few months after the Auditor General, Mr. John Mwanga, warned that the country's national debt has escalated and that it was becoming unsustainable. The International Monetary Fund yesterday said, the 3.5 trillion shillings, which is one million one billion dollar loan, will help Uganda tackle the near-term impact of COVID-19 and its recovery by safeguarding microeconomic stability and generating more inclusive growth. International Monetary Fund staff have reached the agreement with the Ugandan authorities on a medium-term program that could be supported by International Monetary Fund resources of about. $1 billion, which is roughly 3.5 trillion Ugandan shillings, under the extended credit facilities. Mr. Amini Amati, an international monetary fund official, said in the statement, uh, he added that the staff level agreement is subject to the international monetary fund management approval and executive board considerations, which is expected in the coming weeks. According to the statement, the agreement followed meetings held between 25th and 28th, attended by the International Monetary Fund staff team, Ministers, Minister of Finance, Matia Kasaija, Acting Permanent Secretary and the Secretary to the Treasury, Mr. Patrick Okailap, and the Central Bank Governor, Mr. Emmanuel Mutevile. The Finance Ministry spokesperson, Mr. Jim Mugunga, confirmed to one of the medias that the meeting happened and that the agreements about the loan were made. The central objective of the authorities' reform program, supported by an arrangement under the IMF, which is the International Monetary Fund's extended credit facility, is to support a recovery from the COVID pandemic. This will enable us as a country stay on course to generating a strong and inclusive private sector-led growth he said. He also added that the budget deficit and debt will be reduced over time as the COVID-19 shock eases through higher productivity and the government revenue. The, minister, the Ministry of Finance and other agencies of government remain committed to ensure great efficiency in funds absorption and use that will, and use that will include, among others, spending on social programs such as health. But the Auditor General had in the 2019-2020 financial year report cautioned that if the government does not restrain its hunger for loans, the debt will be unsustainable and future governments will not be able to borrow. In December 2019, Uganda's debt burden stood at about 49 trillion shillings, but by December 2020, it shot to 65.8 trillion shillings, which is a 16.8 trillion shillings increment, according to the information from the government. This caused a considerable increase in the debt, CGD, C, I mean GDP ratio to 46% as of 2020. 
but the International Monetary Fund says it will continue to give loans to Uganda to close financing gaps and help in recovery from the impact of COVID-19. Uganda's economy has been hit but has, has been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic that eroded people's livelihoods. Growth has halved compared to pre-crisis levels and poverty has increased, reversing decade-long gains in wealth creation and inclusion despite the support measures introduced by the authorities, says Mr. Martin. He also added, the fiscal deficit has widened considerably, punishing public debt to close to 50% of GDP by June 2021 and increasing financing costs. Emergence financial assistance from the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank helped close financing gaps and supported mitigation measures, but important physical and external financing needs remain over the next few years. Mrs. Sisi Kagawa, the head of anti-corruption coalition Uganda said, even in countries that did not borrow money as much as Uganda did to cushion the population from the effects of COVID-19, their COVID-19 figures in terms of percentages of the population are not as far from Uganda's. The, people, the problem is not that we are borrowing excessively. It is that we are borrowing for the wrong reasons. Even when we borrow for the wrong reasons, the custodians of this country exaggerate the amounts of money borrowed to cater to their selfish ends. She wrote earlier in one of the opinion articles published by one of the new newspapers, but Mr. Mugunga said, the loan is not a big threat since it is, it is interest free. The ECF carries a zero interest rate with a grace period of five and a half years and a final maturity of 10 years. The duration of Uganda's ECF supported program is three years for a loan of about $1 billion disbursed in same annual tranches, he said. Uh, well, that is it, but the fact remains Uganda borrowed $1 billion from the International Monetary Fund and now it's looking forward to go back and get another $1 billion which is roughly 3.5 trillion Ugandan shillings from the International Monetary Fund and the International Monetary Fund said that they always keep on g giving loans to Uganda to fight its problems uh, they don't have problem with giving loans to the government of Uganda uh, once again, thanks for watching. That is it for now. We'll up keep on updating you with more of this. But kindly, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates.